folks. Today we're going to talk about the nitrate reductase test. Um, and so we're looking for the ability of the microorganism to break down nitrate to nitrite. And then even, it might be able to break them down even further to a gas. And the gas would be either nitrous oxide, nitrogen, or ammonia. And so here I have three different organisms. And I'm going to have to add three different reagents. Um, to the tubes, um, two if it's positive for the first step. So the first step is looking for nitrate reduced to nitrite. And so that's going to be something that E. coli does. And so this is E. coli. I'm going to go ahead and mix it up just a little bit. Then I'm going to add a few drops of sulfonylic acid. So sulfonylic acid, I'll just add about five drops or so. And then another reagent, which is alpha nephthalamine, and I will add a few drops of that, and there should be an immediate red color developed. So you can see that red color, and this is positive for the reduction of nitrate to nitrite. And this, if you do this, and this happen, you have this result, nitrate to nitrite, after the addition of two different reagents, sulfonylic acid and nephthalamine, then you're done and you don't have to do anything else. Right? You should take your results down pretty quickly because this will oxidize again and, and turn amber again. Okay? I'm going to show you a negative uh, test. And so with a negative test, we're going to use Enterococcus faecalis. So if I take Enterococcus faecalis, mix it up a little bit to make sure it's nicely mixed, take that and add about five drops of sulfonylic acid, five drops of nephthalamine, nothing will happen. So I'm going to add this in here, and you can see nothing happens. Right? So at this point, one of two things has happened. And we're going to have to figure out what we need to do to figure to, to, to establish what happened. First thing that might have happened is nitrate is still there in its pure form. And it didn't get reduced at all because the microorganism did not have the enzyme nitrate reductase to break down or to hydrolyze or to reduce nitrate to nitrite or to a gas, right? So what we can do to do that is we can just simply add a little bit of zinc. And so I'm getting a toothpick here, and I'm going to take a little bit of zinc dust, and I'm going to add that little bit of zinc dust to the test. And I'm going to shake it up a little bit. And if nitrate is still there in its pure form, zinc will reduce it immediately. And because the other reagents are in there, you're going to get a red color developed. So after the addition of zinc, if you get a red color, and that means nitrate was there in its pure form and it didn't get reduced, we reduced it chemically. But that means the test is negative for the, other, for the organism that you're testing. Good? The last type of result we can have is we can have an organism that reduces nitrate to nitrite, but continues to reduce it to a gas. And those gases can be uh, nitrous oxide, nitrogen, or ammonia. And we have no way to test for which one, but we can test to see whether or not nitrate is still present in the tube. And so it's real easy to do. Again, this is Pseudomonas aeruginosa, which is a big reducer of nitrate. It takes it to a gas. And so again, we'll add a few drops of sulfonylic acid, a few drops of nephthalamine, and nothing will happen, right? So nothing happens, right? So again, that's step one. And with step one, if nothing happens, then you have to go to step two. And so in step two, you're going to add, again, Some zinc. So take some zinc. And mix it in. And, and if you recall, when we added uh, zinc to the inner caucus fecalis that was negative, after a few shakes it turned red. Here, no matter how long I vortex it, it's never going to turn red because 
nitrate has been reduced to nitrite and further reduced to a gas, we don't know which one, nitrous oxide, nitrogen, or ammonia. And we just don't have ability to figure that out. But we can figure out that nitrate is not there in its pure form, therefore it's been reduced to a gas. So after the addition of zinc, if you get no red color, then that's positive for the reduction of nitrate to a gas.